The first mass known to man was created in the Garden of Eden. Both Adam and Eve gave into the lies of a snake. They ate fruit from this tree called knowledge and their eyes began to open and this image of God that they were made in that was exposed was now snake. They began sewing fig leaves together and created this mask to cover up their shame and the mistake they made. They removed themselves from God's presence, which prompted God to ask them the question, where are you? And now I pose that question to all of you in this room. Where are you? One of the most celebrated holidays in this country is Halloween. Out of 365 days, it's the one time our country legalizes identity theft, giving us the freedom to impersonate someone else, but October 31st is not the only time this ritual is conducted, because for some of us, putting on a mask is an everyday tradition. And pardon my interruption, but as a word of caution, I want to make a suggestion that you might want to change your seating arrangement because the person you're sitting next to might just be a cheap long advertisement of who they really are. Mm -hmm. Cruising around, fronting and pretending like Christ is the head of the life when actually to you, Christ is just a costume. Our Bibles, deep conversations and the articles of posing that we wore around our neck are the fronts to be worn like front pages so that others might be able to identify us as Christians but with out these idols, would anybody be able to insert your name in the same sentence as being a Christian? You see, the Wizard of Oz is very appropriate in this situation because, like a cowardly lion, we have no courage to be exposed for the hypocrites that we are, and if no one knew would be bold enough to confess, I would just unmask myself. You see, once upon a time, I got sidetracked by this man named Karen, and by following him, I got so lost that I was unable to find value in myself. My heart began to harden. I locked it away in this vortex prison, surrounded by an electrified fence. See, a mask is just is more than just an outfit. And these facades practice and covered are just as fake as the plastic that your outfit's made with. See, church suits and dresses have become expensive decorations trying to keep our little white eyes and shameful secrets hidden. See, maybe your mask is used to cover up a flaw, an internal issue. A hurt that originated from the church's congregation and there's no pain in this world close to a church church. Maybe your mask is used to cover up the fact that your mother or father was up there. And the only real connection you had with your neglectful parents was a child support check. Maybe it's the man or woman that touched you when you were little and now you're dealing with the trauma break, the manipulation, the molestation. Maybe it's the STD you call by not practicing athletes. Maybe it's not pain. And now you're hiding behind the mask you made. Now being held captive in this prison of embarrassment. It's not one situation that I have mentioned where a heart has not been broken. Trust is not a rare commodity in our society. And experiences, there are too many that have proven people can't be trusted without infidelity. Because somewhere hidden behind this smiley face might just be waiting to cry against me, waiting to betray me. Even a kiss is suspicious. Just ask Jesus when he was betrayed by Jews. See, we now live in a world where something meant to be hearing is no longer trustworthy. And I made a promise. A Bible for God and Son refusing to ever disclose any pertinent information about myself. So now I walk around wearing this mask to conceal who I really am, locked away on the inside forever. Hidden. I thought Sunday morning was going to be my record. But the more I raised my hands and prayed this gospel, the more I heard God's voice say, sit down, fall. Hide behind this movie and title of church building. You see, Monday and Saturday and half day on Sunday, I shown this Christ that I placed my faith in. Couldn't even call this a tithe because I couldn't even give him 10% of my time. I wouldn't even give him 10% of my time. I was willing to compromise my relationship with them in exchange for the wrong woman that I was fighting. And I wouldn't tell anybody that I was a Christian because it was a distraction from the type of attention that I was thinking of. So I had to put my Christianity on my What we really learn about you is to follow you home. What we 
we find you worshiping the dynasty of North Africa, releasing your seed into the womb of a virgin, giving birth to an unnatural addiction, finding yourself in the next chapter of R. Kelly's trapped in the closet, because now just like him, you are trapped in this closet, and if you are too afraid to admit it, I will raise my hands and confess. See, I have no time to waste masking my past, but she can put it to truth because truth is Despite this rough exterior that I display while on stage, the assumption can be made that I'm a man who's still into issues. I'm a woman, but honestly, I'm just as vulnerable just like you. And at this moment, I will bring all of you. And I allow myself to become submissive to allowing you to walk across the pavement of my wounds and my issues because a real friend knows how to balance the weight of what makes you great and what makes you a disgrace. This message is used to be an ornament to replace the makeup that we use to mask our scars. Ah, so there's no wonder why they call it mask scar. Ah, but you underestimate the power of your mask to see God took it upon himself to make you after his likeness. He reached down into the ground and gave built a purpose. We fight into the nostrils of dirt off the human eye to come into his city and call us good on the fifth day when he was finished. See, the fifth is going to bring all this pointless those who just like you feel useless. See, so you are never a mistake. Nor an inheritance. Your pain is the key to unlocking purpose. It's the freedom the world needs from bondage. So I encourage you to grab that handle door or the closet that you're trapped in. Walk out of it, remove your mask, and be the best you that has ever lived. And smile because you too are beautiful. Thank you.